It's been five months since baby Jordan. Yay! And in today's DJ. episode, we are having a candid conversation, not previously discussed, about the biggest changes I have seen in my wife as being a new mother, and she is going to talk about... The biggest changes that I've seen in you since becoming a father. So let's talk about it. Let's get it. I think one of the biggest changes that I've seen in you, and I'm so proud of you for that, is your level of patience. Mm. From the time that, you know, we started as you know, right in the beginning when Jordan was just days old up until where he is now. He's five months. He just turned five months. And I'm very proud of you because I do understand that it was a challenge for you in the beginning and being able to just have that level of patience. And you will always commend me for that. Mm -hmm. And that was something that you would always say like, man, I wish I could have, you know, patience like how you have patience. But I will say that I have sincerely noticed a change and I'm proud of you. You wow. you are doing a wonderful job when it comes to just being able to be more patient when it comes to understanding Jordan's needs yeah. and also understanding that Jordan's level of communicating right now is only by crying. You right. know, he can't verbalize like, Hey, I'm hungry. I'm tired. Or, you know, this or that. Um, and you are now like, okay, I see like, are you, and you are asking questions too, which I think you weren't doing before, mm -hmm. which I think is also helping alleviate you feel a little bit, um, it, which helps prevents you from getting flustered right? and allows you to be more patient because you're asking like, Hey, okay, you're crying. Why are you crying? Let's see. Have you had your bottle? Yeah. Have you, do you need your pamper change? You know, do you just want to play? Are you bored? Are you tired of being in the swing? Are you tired of sit sitting down? So I like that you're also, um, two things that you're very patient and that you are, um, more of a critical thinker when it comes to understanding Jordan's needs. Wow. Yeah. Well, I honestly was not expecting that. Yeah. But I really appreciate that. Yeah, because of course. that is one thing that I definitely struggled with um, mm -hmm. the first couple of months is, mm -hmm. is my patience. And, and I've actually talked about it several times on the yeah. podcast um, mm -hmm. before. So I'm glad that my patience is, is getting better and it's showing yeah. uh, from you. So definitely showing. I definitely appreciate that. Um, when it comes to you. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> I got my hair done, so now I don't know how to act. Like. <laughs> you can take her out of PG, but you can't take the PG out of her. Period. <laughs> uh, uh, when it comes to you as a new mother, what I have seen, like the biggest change mm -hmm. that I've seen in you, and it's been so positive, is that just seeing you getting to the role of being a mother mm -hmm. because obviously like we've talked about it before me mm -hmm. and you neither one of us really actually wanted children mm -hmm. we were mm -hmm. cool with the idea of it just being us two yep. and a dog yes and just yes. living life like that and traveling and doing yeah. all these crazy things god had different plans and you from get-go have been an incredible mother and just seeing it from day one all the way up to now five months and just seeing your natural level of being able to, to nurture mm -hmm. has been a, such an incredible blessing to see from my perspective because Thank you. I'm like, man, like not only did I get lucky as choosing you as my wife, but choosing you as the mother of my child. Whoa. Wow. Thank you. And wow. both of those are separate mm -hmm. because you could have a great wife, but have a mother of your child that is like, oh, mm -hmm. she ain't the best. Right. But you're actually good at both. Mm -hmm. You're great at both. Thank you. And it's such a blessing because that's the unknowing mm -hmm. from, you know, a husband's perspective is like, is she going to be a good mom? Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. you are hundred percent. Thank you. Thank you. I greatly appreciate that. That, that really means a lot to me because obviously, like you say, we did have a conversation about, you know, us being on the same page when it comes to not wanting children. And, you know, Jordan was our beautiful surprise. He was a blessing that we didn't know we needed. And now we have. And I think, um, you know, of course, there was shock in the beginning when we found out the news. But 
um, something literally changed in me. And I think I also just kind of reflected on some of the some of the things that I dealt with growing up and mm. the challenges that I that I faced. Um, and, you know, I had amazing love. I have amazing loving parents. But, you know, we had a lot of challenges when I was a kid growing mm. up. And this was my opportunity to be able to make sure that my child never has to go through some of the hardships and challenges that I had to go through as a child. Amen. And so that also created like this level of nurturing that I didn't even know that I had inside of me. I thought that it would be something that I would struggle with. But once I got into pregnancy and just feeling him grow inside of me, grew my love for him. And then uh, me having, a, you know, us having a crazy delivery and me having an unmedicated um, delivery, which was unplanned. Um, and just knowing that we created him and we brought him into this world, I understand the responsibility that it takes. And I don't want to mess that up. I think those have contributed to my level of nurture mm. when it comes to him. So thank you. I appreciate that. That means a lot to me because I too thought that that was something that I would struggle with. So yeah. this is great. You know, us doing this podcast and us having these candid conversations, because as we're discussing the changes that we've seen in each other, we're also having conversations and unlocking new things that I didn't know that's how you thought about me and yeah. vice versa. And so it's beautiful for us to be able to have these conversations. One, it to be valuable for other people, right. but it's value for us as well because we're learning new things. And so again, thank you. Thank you for that. That meant a lot to hear that. You are hundred percent welcome and you honestly deserve it. I'm not saying it just because it sounds good on the podcast, on the mm -hmm. YouTube. No, I'm saying it because I truly believe it. Right. I, and I truly know I've seen it for the last five months. I'm like, damn, she, <laughs> she is good. <laughs> she is a good mother. Thank you. And I just smile. And you are a great father. Wow. I appreciate that. Of course. I appreciate that. So these are the type of conversations that we have and we're hoping that you get value from it. It gives us value, mm -hmm. but we're really wanting to sh spread love, like mm -hmm. spread positive energy and yeah. positive relationships because there's real love out here that mm -hmm. really does exist mm -hmm. and flourishing in your relationship flourishing as parents yes. is something that can be possible mm -hmm. and it's all done through good communication exactly and through the conversations like this so the conversations that we have i'm hoping that it provides value for you right and your relationship and your marriage and that's what Amen. we're doing here on this channel on yes. the yambor so my name is shane i'm jen and this is the yambor bye guys and remember to always find joy in the journey peace Building a happy home, yeah. building a happy marriage, building a happy family. All of those things take day in and day out work. Like yes. you said, it's about those routines, it's about those habits. And building those healthy habits provides you the responsibility for you to pour into your marriage, to pour into your relationship, and to pour into yourself. 